going to be observing protists tomorrow, so this is going to give you sort of a heads up of what you're looking for. So the first protist that you're going to be looking at is an amoeba. An amoeba um, is an irregular shaped protist. It's got these things called pseudopods. See this one right here is stretching out its pseudopods to engulf that food particle right there. You can see the cytoplasm sort of streaming inside. So it streams out the cytoplasm and they slowly move their pseudopods. And um, that's spelled P-S-E-U-D-O-P-O-D-S. -E and this is an amoeba. This is under high power. All of the protists that I show you right now are going to be under high power. So they're going to be much smaller under the low power when you're first going to be searching for them. But as you increase your magnification, you'll be able to see it in more detail like this one. The next one is uh, paramecium. And you can see these tiny hair-like structures along the outside. They beat them back and forth, and that's how they moved. And they're called cilia. This one you can see the oral groove right here, and that's what the paramecium uses to eat. And then finally, we're going to be looking at a photosynthetic protist called euglena. Euglena has this whip-like structure called a flagella right here. And that's what the euglena use to move. And when you look at the euglena under the microscope, they'll be green, so they'll be easy to spot. But once again, this is under high power, so they'll be very small under low power. But as soon as you see those green specks and you increase the magnification, you'll be able to see it, this in more detail. So we've got amoeba, which use um, pseudopods. We've got, um, let's go back to param we've got paramecium that use cilia. And we have euglena that use flagella.